Welcome to Audiophile Archive TV. I am Andrew Hoffman. And what are we gonna talk about today? Cleaning brand new vinyl records. That's what, stay tuned. Okay, you've just gotten your brand new record home. You taken it out of the shrink wrap, you slip it out of the inner sleeve and you examine it. There's no warps, there's nothing wrong with it. Like maybe some specks of dust, but that's okay, right? And you put it down on the turntable, you put your carbon fiber brush on there to clean off all those little specks of dust, and then you lower the needle, and what do you hear? You hear glistening, beautiful audio, right? Not always. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna to talk about the need to deep clean your brand new vinyl records. And you may be wondering, Andrew, why in the world would you need to deep clean brand new records? Well, we're gonna show you why. In fact, we're also going to show you the results of an experiment that we conducted, uh, having a clean filter from our degraders and then we cleaned a batch of mass-produced records, and then we also cleaned a batch of audiophile pressings, brand new, out of the wrapper, and we'll show you how dirty they actually are. So you're probably wondering, hey, how dirty can my brand new record be? It's brand new, right? Well, it is, it's brand new, but you have to go back to how records are made. Records are made in a factory. I mean, literally, like if you look, think of a factory environment, that is where they're made. There's heat and steam and machines and there's dust and, you know, they're trimming the edges of the records off. So there's plastic shavings all over the place. And, you know, that that is where records are made. Even the pressing plants that are actually better, that are have higher and tighter quality control, they are still heating up plastic to a point where it melts and stamping it and and causing dirt and things like that to, to happen. Hey, it's just it's just inherent in the process of making records. Then add into the mix, some of those records are packaged into those paper sleeves that were cut at a paper mill and there's paper dust in them. That paper dust finds a nice little home in the grooves of your records because it's very, very small. So at the end of the day, your brand new records are dirty. But we all have our carbon fiber brush, right? And so that is good. We can take it out of the sleeve, run the carbon fiber brush over it, and it'll be ready to play. Not really. And that's what this video is really about because there are some lasting effects that can be had on uh, the record itself, on your stylus or your needle, and the sound quality if your records aren't deep cleaned before you start using them. The first point that we're going to discuss is how dirt is the enemy to your vinyl record. So here's a mind picture. You have a house with a brand new hardwood floor and we're going to take a couple of buckets of gravel and throw onto the hardwood floor and then walk all over it. Now, if you were to expect that once we clean that, that gravel up and the floor would look brand new still, you're kidding yourself. It, no, it's going to have marks and dings and scratches all over it. And that's what happens to your vinyl records. Um, you know, you can see in this picture right here that there is dirt in all of those grooves. And then you have a diamond tipped stylus that is moving at 33 and a third RPM or 45 RPM, scratching and dragging that dirt along with it. And what that does is over time starts to cause microscopic wear and tear to the grooves of your record. So now let's look at the second picture. Ah, now it's much cleaner. We can see that this is the result of a deep cleaned record. All of that dirt is gone from those inner grooves. And now the stylus has a nice clean surface 
to go and and create that beautiful glistening music that we talked about in the outset. It's kind of like gently vacuuming the gravel off of the hardwood floor, mopping it, and then walking over it without our shoes on. It would be inaccurate to say that if you kept your records clean, your stylus will never wear out. That is not true. It's kind of like the tires on your car. Uh, if you take good care of them, you keep the proper air in the tires and you rotate them on a regular basis and you drive in a way that doesn't cause any extra wear and tear on the tires, they're gonna last for a long time. Although eventually, you're going to have to replace them. So similar to the tires, if you mistreat your record player's stylus or needle, it's going to wear out much sooner. Keeping your stylus clean is one way to increase its life. And the another way to increase the lifespan of your record needle is to keep your records clean. So keeping your stylus clean and your records clean is going to be uh, combined in a mutual benefit between the stylus and your records. And by doing so, you're going to be able to continue listening to those records for years to come, and they're going to sound nice and clean. Now we're gonna talk about how dirt is the enemy to our sound quality, all right? So surface noise, is that we're used to is the crackles and the pops that you hear in a record. Uh, those are the bits of debris. Whenever the needle hits them, it causes a snap, crackle, or a pop. And even fresh out of the shrink wrap, we can hear those snaps and crackles sometimes immediately, even if we use that carbon fiber brush. And one reason is one that we've already talked about, which is that there's you know dirt inherent in the factory, uh, in the sleeve uh, during their, its manufacturing process. But there's another more controversial source of this noise, dirt, and debris. When the PVC plastic is heated up to the temperature that it needs to be to be able to properly be stamped in the machine and form the grooves to a point that it sounds beautiful, something happens to the PVC plastic that causes a film to form in the grooves. It's very microscopic, and in some cases, it's unnoticeable. So with that said, when you're playing your brand new records, are you getting the most out of the investment that you've made? And if you haven't deep cleaned them, the answer is no. And here's how we know why. Audiophile Archive and Grading Services has decided to conduct an experiment to see if in fact, brand new records have not only dust and dirt on them, but also have extra dirt that could cause noise in the playback, cause a dirty stylus, and to also possibly cause damage to the record if played. We went out, it was a major chore for me to do this. I had to buy eight brand new records that were mass produced. It was a horrible thing to do. And I ended up opening each one and cleaning it in a degrader ultrasonic cleaner. We also, carried the burden of going out and purchasing eight brand new, still in the shrink wrap, audio file pressings. We decided to take on that burden on our shoulders so that you wouldn't have to. So then what we did is we analyzed the amount of dirt contained in the filter of the machine that came off of the batch of eight that were mass produced and the batch of eight that were audiophile pressings. I think you're going to be surprised. You might be wondering how we did the cleaning though. So let me go into a little bit of detail. At AGS, we do a two cycle cleaning. So we're gonna run it through a heavy cycle with um, a little bit of soap and surfactant in the distilled water. And then we're going to run it again through a quick rinse cycle that is also ultrasonic uh, cleaning. 
and then we do a touchless drying cycle on each one of our records. That's just the best practice that we've found so far. We were shocked by the results. Check this out. The filter on the left is a clean filter. The filter on the right is the filter after eight brand new mass produced records were cleaned with both the soap cycle and the rinse cycle. So what's interesting about this is that when looking at a record from the surface, all you see is maybe a few little particles here and there. Um, and to some degree, you might see some, you know, other uh, pieces of dirt. But the dark color in the filter is that film that we talked about earlier. But that could be expected, right? Because these were mass produced. This is probably, these machines are pumping out thousands of pressings each day of vinyl records. So how does this compare to a filter that just got done cleaning eight audiophile quality records? Well, here's the comparison. And again, we were shocked. It's a little bit less dirt than the mass produced ones, but still it has the same amount of dark color. And we realized that brand new records are just inherently dirty and they should be deep cleaned in order to have the best possible sound. And aside from the crackles and pops, what do we gain sonically from a deep cleaning on a brand new record? Well, this is what we found that after the manufacturing sludge has been removed and the dust particles are all picked up and the stylus can concentrate on just transforming the information in the grooves into pure audio, then the sound just comes alive. It's a more realistic sound quality. There's more clarity, there's more dynamics, and overall it just feels deeper and more substantial. So in the end, clean records are happy records, even brand new ones, and especially so. And that's why you shouldn't play your new records right out of the package before they are deep clean. The best possible results come from ultrasonic cleaners that have no parts that touch the record and also a drying cycle that has nothing that touches the record. That way no more dirt or particles can ever make their way back onto the record because of that me mechanical connection. But you might be like, Andrew, those types of cleaners are way outside of my budget. What do I do? It doesn't mean that it's impossible to have your records ultrasonic cleaned. In fact, we can do it for you with our ultrasonic cleaning subscription service for your vinyl records. That way you can keep your records clean, sounding great, and at the same time, keep your equipment running at its best. So check it out. Keep spinning the good stuff and have your records deep clean, even the new ones. You have valuable vinyl records that would benefit from being certified and transferred with the utmost care and quality? Audiophile Archive and Grading Services features the most comprehensive grading system for vinyl records. We also authenticate autographs and offer ultrasonic cleaning subscription services. To learn more, visit us at aagservices.org. And remember to subscribe to this video and click the bell icon. In the meantime, keep on spinning.